This game is not suitable for children for those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit this. Oh, hey everyone. Patrick Gamer here, and of course, welcome back to another game. Today we'll be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah, yeah, this is like an anime horror kind of game that I found on Steam. Yeah, I have not played this before. I think it's like kind of like Yandere Simulator, but not as much. Which, I've played Yandere Simulator, but never done a gameplay of it on the channel. So, if we do some See, by playing Doki Doki Literature Club, can you agree that you're at least 13 years of age and consider exposure of highly disturbing content? Yes, I am 18. <sighs> okay, there's some like anime music. Yeah, we are not some suitable for children. Alright. Alright, um, it's not that bad. Let's go to new game. Enter your name, uh, Hedgehog Gamer. Can I put that at the end? Hang on, let me check. <laughs> the Hedgehog Gamer. Oh, is that gonna be? Uh, whatever, we'll just put in Hedgehog. <laughs> whatever. But anyways, um, let's see. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from a distance, waving, in, waving her arms in the air. It looks like she's totally overly to any attention she might draw to herself. The girl is Saori, my neighbor, and a good friend since we're children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today. But it's kind of works, yeah, because you've known each other for so long. Yeah, sorry, boy. Can't speak too much. Yeah. <laughs> we used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. If she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Uh, uh, I almost slept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe just... Oh, I can't kind of speak now. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that you, you're like worth thinking about ignoring me. That means hedgehog. Well, that's mean hedgehog. Well, if people will stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have have it in you to be mean if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily con commute. Sorry. By the way, Hedgehog, have you decided on, on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested. Oh, I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it, uh, I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations. We're going to dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Zuri looks to worry a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Aha! Uh -huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me. Oh, important. <laughs> you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die as a the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Uh, hang on, guys. And we're back! Yeah. You trust me, right? Don't let me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a ca carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself run to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Alright, the school day is ordinary as ever. It's over before I know it. I'm gonna s- Okay, I was gonna save, um... 
save. Ah, uh, no. Alright. Back to packing up my things, or after I pack up my things, I stared blankly at the wall looking for an, for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Zara wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori also comes to the class of all I was facing out. <sighs> Sorry about that. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori? Yeah. There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. <laughs> Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was aware that that she had any interest in lunch literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interference after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the little vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kinda told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. I think this is a roleplay game somehow and that. I hopefully it won't get to NSFW. If so, I have to probably blur out a lot of content. Maybe, yeah. Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much an ahead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let her a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! Oh my. <laughs> and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visited. Being generally used for the third year classes and activities. So, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Hmm. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I go out the room. Alright, let me just save this. Just in case, you know. You may never know. Oh, <laughs> you're new. Welcome to the Logic Club, it's a pleasure to meet you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Hedgehog, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! So, sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> girl with a with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. The small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also a one who made cupcakes according to Super Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Suri says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. <sighs> Sorry about that. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears currently more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Oh well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Hedgehog. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other, we... Well, we rarely talked, but we... were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Those were completely out of my league. Throwing a smile at me so generally feels like... feels a little. Why do I always get words wrong? You, you too, Monica. 
Come sit down, Hedgehog. We made a we need room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. How about I make some tea as well? We gotta have a few desk arranged to form a table. As I already mentioned, it has been lonely, so there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walked over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens a closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! A what? Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. <laughs> the whisker is drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! <laughs> My best one. You know what like, yeah! <laughs> that, that was awful. Jeez, why have I done that? <laughs> I had no idea why you are good at begging Natsuki. Eh, <laughs> well you know. Just hurry and take one. Zuri grabs it first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Zuri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. So the cup goes around and my fingers looking for the best angle to bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet, but full of flavour. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thankfully, I mean, thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I haven't I heard this somewhere else before. I made them for you or anything. Yeah, I thought you technically like, did Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for y you. You know, you dummy. Alright, alright. I give, I give on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying the tea set. She gently places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole set in this classroom. Oh. What do I do? Oh. Okay, um. When I click, like, the middle button, it does that. Alright, I'm gonna, you know, get, like, a, um, drink for a bit, and I'm gonna come back, so. B.I.B. Alright, we're back once again. Yeah, going to you keep. Yeah. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of coffee help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get into it. You're just trying to impress you. Eh, uh, but that's not. Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, T and and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Your family smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider to the Ledger Club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was kind of dragged by here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any club yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel alright at home, okay? The president of the Ledger Club is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You'll probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. When you were leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about budget and probability on, and how to prepare the events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into a literature club, then I'm fluffling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in the agreement. <sighs> then I'm surprised there are there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You can put that away. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. 
but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can already grow this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know what? <coughs> everyone enthusiastically agrees. Which different girls are interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up their level of the enthusiasm about literature. So Hedgehog, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how I've read past years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I might, I might have quietly to myself, half joking. Katsuki's head suddenly pucks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri tries the rim of her teacup with her fingers. My favorites are usually novels that build deep, complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. <sighs> and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved, timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the by the way in her eyes light up that, that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely free you for a loop? Oh, jeez. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I read horror. I read a horror. I've read a horror book once. There we go. Jesus Christ, I can't speak. I just really grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. Oh, that's right, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really, I wouldn't expect to that, Yuri. But someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dot over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. That's right. You should usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? But what? What gives you the idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give it back! Fine, fine. <laughs> Your cover case your poems. Everything you do is as cute as you are. Zuri so saddles behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well I guess sometimes. Oh you care. I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Whew, man, it's hard to brave sometimes. Especially when I'm wearing a mask because I want to drink for it. No! no. So he had better eyes. You wouldn't like him. Uh, not very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. During that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing... Uh, sorry. But you know, willing exposing your vulnerable and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experiences too, Yui? Maybe if you sh share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess that's the same for, you, for Yuri. Ah, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. <sighs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzily at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we will all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. 
Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get all a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Feel that right, Hedgehog? I'm not gonna smile warmly at one. At me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I've plumbly come forth with well, what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sorry you may have convinced me to stop, but I've never made any decision. I still have a club to look at, and um, I lost my train of thought. Awful ghost stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry I thought... Hmm. Hedgehog. If you all... I'm in defense against these girls. I always want to make a clear head decision when it's like this. That, that is, if writing poems is a, is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join my literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Zuri wraps her arms around herself, jumping up and down. <laughs> hey. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for cupcakes, I would be super pissed. <laughs> now that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Hedgehog, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> I mostly con con concentrate on the words than the um, characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I really impress the class and start Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Hedgehog, since we're already here, do you want to talk? Do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori, so I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! <laughs> Alright. I'm just gonna pause the game for a minute, mostly once again, have a drink just to fill my hydration up. Alright, went back once again. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. Alright, let me just save this. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumcisions, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Okay, it's time to write a poem. Pick! Let's see. Think about what you think of your favorite club I remember will like. Something good might happen for who likes your poem the most. Okay, um. Let's see, I'm always into horror, yeah. Uh, Alright, I'm guessing. Climax. Massacre. <laughs> I would say maybe captive. Yeah. Maybe a bit of wonderful. Party. Yeah. I guess on whoever yeah, jumps means they like it. Yeah. See, so disoriented. Um, VR. Friends. A bit of grave. Impression. <laughs> okay, I don't want to Don't hate me, please. Maybe determination. Yeah. Lust. Maybe a bit of, um. Existence. Yeah. Kelly? Dark. Ex 
stream. Alright. Maybe a bit of death. <laughs> That's gonna be pretty dark. Let's say, um, games. And most importantly, anime. Alright. Hi again, Hedgehog. Because I'm gonna save once again. Well, I see you didn't run away from on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Hedgehog. I hope this isn't too overwhelming for commitment for you. I'm making you dive headfirst into a literature club when you're not unaccustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Zoro told me he didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. That's okay, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps, keeps her manga collection in the club room. Ma -ma -ma -ma. That's okay, finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. <laughs> manga is let it shout! Literally defeated, Natsuki plops back into a seat. Don't worry, guys. Hedgehog is always. Uh, is at his best. As long as he's on time. Yeah, Alright, give me a second, guys. Right, we're back once again. Hedgehog always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. I like cooking, cleaning my room. How uh, dependable. So, already, that's because your room is. So messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. That's so. Uh, <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? Alright, I don't know if I've saved this, but I'll check again. Alright, we'll just save it anyway, just in case. Yeah. I might be a little jealous. Why can't you and Hedgehog can become good friends too? Uh, um. So, Sayori. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she puts she just puts me into. Oh, a Yuri even brought you something today, you know. But wait, Sayori? Yeah, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Um, it's yet. Never mind. Very made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Um, uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Cause that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So a you nice know, gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I don't make a big deal if you don't want to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into a bag and pulls out a book. A book?! I don't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. But this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out the book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. Thank you. I definitely, I'll definitely read this. I occasionally take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. Okay, sorry. Why do I always get things messed up? I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that it's everyone said, I expected Monica to kick some schedule activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be in the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice in her tense expression like she was waiting for the chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rum rummaging around in the closet. Yeah, hang on. Right, once again, we're back. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll save as well. Because I sort of like transition. 
But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of the book. It looks like the same book that she lent me. More than that, she seemed to be on the first few pages. <sighs> ah. I gave up a crap. I think she knows me looking at her. She takes another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her harder face appear in her book. Sorry. I was just facing out. I might have been saying I made her uncomfortable. Well, it's fine. If I was focused, then I would probably have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book that you gave me, right? Uh-huh. I wanted you to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just, just curious how come you have two copies of the same book. Ah. Well, then I stopped at a bookstore yesterday. Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean... <clears throat> I just happened to buy two of them. Oh, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that you isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. <clears throat> I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts picking up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well... Hmm... Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. It's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves, you know, with her long-lost young, younger sister. But as soon as she does, so... Uh, crap. <laughs> her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like I was going to be a nice story, so that dark tone came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Hedgehog? No, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy these kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah. I totally forgot that Yuri... Yuri is into those things. She's so shy with looking at the outside. But it might seem to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they called they challenge you to look life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own life their own goals or their own felt solely that they believe in. I really can't speak today. I just can't. <laughs> and suddenly when you thought you were related to protagonists. They made it out of the night of the naive one of letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I learned things in my book and writing with all my thoughts, I kind of forgot to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. I, in fact... I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I put in my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I'll just look into the next seat of Yuri's. Ah, yeah. Are you sure? Seems a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. 
that it's reading and accompanying you with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I still don't understand what Yuri means about reading and accompany. It's not if I can feel a pat presence over my shoulders as I read. It's not particularly a bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over her. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really... You really apologize a lot, don't you? I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's against Yuri's, then hold my book between the two of them. Ah, uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closed her own copy. Once, once we lean in a little bit more, our shoulders are almost touching. Feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold, hold the book open. I can't speak. Uh, oh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh wow, okay, I got a different point of view. Okay, so I'm really itchy. Eh, <laughs> ah, crap. God damn it. Suddenly, I'm itchy today. Alright. Yuri takes her left thumb and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But knowing it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's an that I can warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Uh, to turn the page? Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over Yuri's face and your eyes and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes a few a bit longer. It's possibly the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me, yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> we continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn to the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence, or in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intense exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? Whew! <sighs> Jeez, I can't breathe. <laughs> How does she? Well, I guess she's a little blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see a head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your own mannerisms. I, I see. Alright, um, hang. Yeah. Alright, I think I'm gonna end this. Man, this is a really long game, but I think it's kind of good. But anyways, we'll continue this on tomorrow. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. And I'll talk to you guys in another video. Peace out.